Hi, I'm Steve Smith with Cultimac.com. So summer is finally here and you might be thinking of upgrading your speaker system. But with so many in the market, which one would you go for? Well, I'm going to show you my personal top two. Let's get started. So this is the usual scene you're greeted with when you want to buy a new speaker. I've used a lot of these when I used to work for PC World, but the best, in my opinion, has always been Bose. The latest of these is the Bose Soundlink 3, but I currently have the first generation, but there isn't a ton of differences. All of the Soundlink speakers have this great minimal design and all have a premium feel, just with a few buttons on the top to control the input and the volume. You have this nice mesh speaker on the front with a few LED indicators to let you know what's going on with the speakers. It's also really easy to set up, just put the speaker into pairing mode and go to your Bluetooth settings and select the Bose speaker. And you can control the sound from the speaker or the device it's connected to. The Bose speaker uses Bluetooth 2.1 rather than AirPlay as it aims for convenience rather than sheer power. While even its base price tag is high by comparison, Soundlink is actually one of the least expensive portable unit Bose systems that has been targeted for Apple users. This was my favourite portable speaker for a long time, but then I came across the Libratone Zip, which is now my definitive portable speaker. For around the same price as the latest Bose Soundlink, you can get the Libratone Zip, which I think has a much more interesting design. The Libratone is still minimalistic, but I think it's a little bit more interesting in its shape and its style. It just has the one button on the top, which you use to turn it on, pair, and also control the volume, with a tiny little light indicator to let you know what's going on. On the back, you'll find the options for DNLA, Wi-Fi, and also the USB and the audio jack, which is all hidden behind the functional leather handle. Pairing via AirPlay is really easy just going through the Wi-Fi settings, or you can also set up DNLA through the free Libratone app. The funky cylinder look of the Libratone isn't just for style. It also features something they call full room. Basically, it's a technology that allows a 360 degree sound experience created by specially designed drivers inside the zip. Unlike most speakers, which have a sweet spot directly in front of the speaker, the full room disperses the sound in all directions. So no matter where you are, you're going to hear a great sound. The Libratone comes with three different covers, including this grey, blue and red, but there are different sets and a total of eight different covers you can get. Let's take a quick listen at the two speakers in action. You hardly even notice when I try to show you the song is meant to keep you from doing what you're supposed to Like waking up too early, maybe we were sleeping and make your banana bed now don't get me wrong, the Bose is an exceptional speaker. Before I got my Libratone, I thought it was the best thing out there. But in person, the Libratone's a lot clearer and the tracks sound separate, whereas compared to the Bose, they all just sound mixed, compressed, and just a little bit disappointing compared to the Libratone. So audio wise, the Zip wins every time. So obviously you can connect via your Wi-Fi connection using AirPlay, but there is a free app from Libratone which allows you to set up the EQ of the speaker which does make a huge difference, including to where it's set up. And you can also use a direct play if your internet's not available. Both the Bose and the Libratone are really good speakers, but the Libratone does tip it for me a little bit. And I will be using this in the future and the Bose as a backup. So there's my top two. I still love Bose and I'll continue to keep buying them in the future. But if you haven't heard of Libratone, you've got to check them out. The personally the best speaker that I've came across for style and function. I'm going to be trying out one of the larger models, the Loop, in the next coming weeks. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. You can find the links below for all of the speakers that I've talked about and where to buy them. If you want to spend a little bit less but still get great sound, there's two deals that I've got to show you. For the US, there's the Unz Angle, which Josh covered a few weeks back. And you can watch it right here. There's also a great deal on Amazon right now, where you can get it for $40 instead of $70. And customers have rated it 4.5 out of 5 stars, so it's definitely worth a look. For the UK, there's the Anker MP141 Premium Speaker, which has been slashed from £60 to £30. Again, it's rated 5 out of 5 stars, and I personally really love the look and the size of the speaker. Well, that's it for this video, but what did you think? Have you got a brand of speakers which you think is better than my personal favourites? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, as it really helps us out. Also, if you haven't already, please click subscribe. 
It only takes a second and you get all the latest videos from cultofmac.com. I'll see you next time.